What's up guys, what's up? Sunday morning, it's uh, about 5.30, 5.45 right now. We got the FJ fired up, ready to go. Got my dogs doing their thing. We're going to look at a road repair. Yeah, 5.30 on a Sunday morning, going to look at a road repair. A couple of reasons. One, it's my, it's not my shift, baby wise. <laughs> it's uh, it's my wife's shift. So this is my my time to take the dogs out and stuff and and she got him. Uh, the other reason, um, sometimes this is what it's like when you you're working for yourself or you get your own company. You need to you need to sacrifice things and you need to uh, just get done what has to be done with the time you have. So I'm going down to take a look at this road job and uh, get the quote handed in right away because uh, I'd like to get it done this week. The road is completely impassable unless you have something like this or an ATV. But uh, anyway, early morning, Sunday morning. A few years ago, I'd I'd be awake, but I wouldn't be I wouldn't be waking up. I'd I'd still be awake. Anyway, times have changed, guys. Let's uh, let's go. Here's one job here we had to do during the storm. Where I'm standing right now, all the way up to that gate was was gone. It got so close to the gate post that the gate or the fence, whatever you want to call it, was very close to falling over. There's two, now there's one culvert there, I guess. There's one culvert, I thought there was two, but there's one culvert there. And I mean, you can see the gravel and stuff, but this was gone right down, right down to the culvert itself. And we had to get a generator in here, of course, because there was no power. So uh, we had to get her fixed up right away. So there is, there is a second culvert. There's a second culvert up here that goes that way. But it's weird because all this water comes down off this hill right in here, and it doesn't catch that one a whole lot. So this was like an emergency fix. We had to get this fixed like right away. So next year, what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop a second culvert in here or a bigger one, a bigger diameter one, because it just can't handle the water. But yeah, this was gone. I'll see if I can find a picture and put a picture up um, what it looked like at the time. But I mean, you can see even up there where the anchor is coming off the pole, that was gone, like completely gone. It's, it's unreal to think of the power that the water has. There's the second culvert. So here's, here's the culvert. <clears throat> If I put a second one in, or if I put, you know, that one, that, that's like a two foot diameter pipe. If I put that one in over here, it will make such a big difference. Such a big difference. We, we didn't do this, we didn't do this work. I would never have put a culvert that small in. It was already in. But uh, yeah, so that's a little bit of the damage. So let's uh, keep going. All right guys, so this is where I was standing during the storm. And it fared out really well. Like the road stayed, everything stayed really good. I was made a video here years in the past and uh, it didn't fare so good. Cause the road used to be over here and this breakwater wasn't here. It used to just tear up the asphalt. So they got, after fixing a few times, they actually did some work to get her done good. But no, she did good. Here we go. All right, she's starting to get pretty rough here, guys. Right here is the exact reason why I bought this vehicle. Oh yeah. Looks 
like someone came through and scraped this a little bit, but didn't do much of a job. But they did it enough to get people in. Alright, so yeah, they did have someone scrape it down in this section. You can see how much they took off the bank there. It's about a two and a half foot that they that was gone in the road, so they just scraped it down to get uh, to get through. But it definitely needs a good uh, six to eight loads of, of like type two, type three gravel. You know, like two and a half, three inch stuff. Build that back up, and up top there's a bunch of ruts that if they don't, if we don't take care of another couple of rains, then it's gonna be completely washed out all over again. So gear up a little quote and send through, but uh, this is a typical road a lot of times for me, um, especially during storms. And a lot of times, you know, we have the 250 or 350 and we're towing an enclosed trailer behind us with generators and ATVs and stuff. So this is, uh, this is what we do. So. This is a big reason why I bought this vehicle is to go around and check out these these sites with this vehicle as much as I can. Uh, you know, when the situation's like this, before I take in the 250 or 350, um, and the roads are grown in, you know. So if I can come through with this thing and check things out first, then right on. Save save some. Uh, Saves some of the wear and tear on on the on the other trucks, the new trucks, and saves the paint, all those things. So, some people, uh, you know, when I bought this, they're like, you know, why, why do you buy that? You got all these trucks. Well, this is why I bought this. It's a big reason why I bought this. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna head home now and uh, throw together this this price and send off, and hopefully they say yes and do it right away because I'd love to do it this week and get it over with. It's fairly local work. It's only about a 45 minute drive for me. So right now with the the new little fella on our hands, uh, that's not bad. I can just, you know, I'm still, you know, within an hour from home in case I needed to get home right away. So uh, yeah. All right guys, so anyway, we're back. It just started to rain. Quick little video for today. Not a whole lot of action, but uh, just showing you sometimes, you know, what you gotta do Sunday mornings when you work for yourself. But uh, anyway guys, that's it. Uh, stay tuned, I'll probably have another little video coming out today. Just a little modification that I'm doing to the 350, which is down there. Um, so stay tuned. That probably should come out today as long as the weather holds off. A quick little install, but it's a must-have for sure in my mind. And it's a long time coming. But uh, anyway, for now, guys, that's it. Um, you know, as always, take care, stay safe, and we'll uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.